Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to set up the inventory so that it updates to a user interface to count the coins that we're collecting, as well as add things dynamically to an inventory list so you can see uh, what's in your inventory. I made a video and uh, it is being replaced by this one thanks to a user, Shannon, who pointed out binds in the UMG are expensive and terrible and you should avoid them. So we're not going to do any binds. We're going to use uh, delegates to call and update when we need to, as well as direct function calls. There will be no binding at all. This should be performative and way better. Let's do it. Okay, so we're in the player controller class. I have deleted the crap from the old video if you have it. Uh, if you watched it and did it, just start here. And I'll explain for those if this is new to you. Um, I have a custom event here called Setup UI. It runs only on the client. We can make it reliable if we want to. And then on Begin Play, we're going to call that. So we need to do something here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to make some C++ classes. So what we need to make are user widgets. So the first one I'm going to call Hopper uh, HUD. And this is going to go in public slash UI. I'm going to create that. Okay, and when that is made, we're going to make a second one of user widget. And this will be called hopper list item. And this will also go in public and UI. Okay, our C++ classes are made. We're going to start in the hopper HUD first, our heads up display. Uh, we need a private section and this header, this macro here for visible anywhere, blueprint read only, and under meta, in some parentheses, we want bind widget and allow private access to be true. If you're not familiar with bind widget, it means that this property we're about to be made... If you're not familiar with bind widget, it means that this property which we're about to make is going to look for a, uh, a property um, in the UMG editor and it will talk to one another. So we're going to make a T object pointer of U text block and we're going to call this coin count and up here I'm going to do a forward declaration if I can spell and we need one more thing and that's going to be a T object pointer of a U scroll box and that will be our inventory list and I will put this up here too. So the way that we're going to be updating our user interface is via delegates, a delegate uh, call, a broadcast to be specific. And in order to access that, we need to have a player controller, specifically our hopper player controller, because when we made our inventory, we already have a delegate called native on inventory changed. So that's what we're going to find. And in order to do that, we need a pointer to our player controller. So this is the macro. It's gonna be an edit anywhere, blueprint read only. Technically it could just be visible anywhere because we're not gonna do anything in blueprints with it. Uh, meta, we want it to be exposed on spawn because that's how we're gonna pass it in here. And allow private access equals true. And what we want is a T object pointer to a U hopper player controller. And we're gonna call it player controller. Sorry, that should be a hopper player controller. And we'll put a forward declaration. It's an actor, not a not a U. So A. Alright. Under public, we want a function called come on. Void update inventory information. And we're gonna pass in a bool for B added as well as a U hopper item pointer called item because those are what the delegate is expecting. So again, U hopper item will go up. Whoop, go up there. Let's go ahead and make that. Generate the definition. Now we want to bind a delegate before we do anything else. And in order to do that under protected, where you would bind stuff is on native construct. Inside of native construct, we want to check if our player controller is valid. And if so, this is where we're going to bind. So we want the on inventory uh, item changed native. 
And we're going to add a U object of this, and the address to the function we want is that one, update inventory information. So it will pass, when this is broadcast off of the player controller, it's going to pass these values into this function up here, which I'm going to move underneath, because that's where I like to have. I like to have my um, constructors, initiators, etc. up at the top, and then my functions down below. All right, in our update inventory information, we want to check if our player controller first, make sure we don't have a null pointer, and then we want to make an F item, what is it, F hopper item dead, and then we want to make an <laughs> Inside of here, let's build this function up. First, we want to check if our player controller is valid. If so, we want to make an F hopper item data called item data. And that will be off of player controller get inventory item data. And this function requires the item. And then it wants the item data itself. So that needs to go to a new line. And that there, so there we go. We're filling this item data up after we initialize it and make one. And then this function is going to fill it up with item data. And because this actually returns a bool, we can check it in the if statement that we want. And I need to put another parentheses there. And this is where we can update coin count by going coin count. And we want to set text. And the text, we're receiving um, item data and it's an integer, so what we need to do is an f text from string and then f string from int. And then item data, uh, we get item count. So that is how we update the coin count. Now to add to an inventory list, what we're going to do is actually do an a uh, u hopper list item pointer, which we need to actually include. So this is our new list item. And this is from create widget. And we're gonna pass in the u hopper item list item. There we go, as the template. This is the owner, and this is going to be of, what we need to actually do is over here, we want to have um, a T soft class pointer of our U hopper list item. And this is our hopper list item class. And we can just forward declare that here. So that is um, uh, going to create a soft pointer to it. And then what we do is over here, class hopper list class uh, item class, we load synchronous on it. It's an asset pointer. What is a soft class pointer? It's a templatized wrapper around fsoft object pointer that works like a T subclass of, and it can be used in U properties for blueprint, blueprint subclasses. So it's a wrapper, uh, and I guess it's a smart pointer for the um, T subclass of. So we'll see. Uh, it probably has something to do with memory. Um, and because we need this to, we want to be able to um, set this in our blueprints, so edit defaults only, say it's a read only, and meta equals allow private access equals true. Okay, so there's our item class. We pass it here to make a new list item, and we're loading it synchronously. So we check if the new list item is valid, and if so, we're going to add a new item to the inventory list. In inventory list, we're going to add child, and that child will be the new list item. In here, we also need to update the list item with information, but we haven't made that function yet, so that's gonna be a function call. Okay, in the hopper list item area, we're gonna need two things under these headers once again. First one is a T object pointer to a U text block again. And this is our item name. And we're gonna forward declare. So class U text block. 
And then we need a T object pointer to another U text block, and this is our item count. So we're gonna name it, and we're gonna tell us, uh, we're gonna tell the player how many of that item they have. And the function that we need is under public, we need a void add new item to inventory list. And what we want is an F string of the in item name and an integer of the in item count. Let's go ahead and make the definition. All right, so we're gonna check first if item name and item count, just to make sure that those are not null. And item name is going to be what do we do? We set text. It's a pointer, so set text. F, we F text from string. There we go. And then we pass in the in item name. And the item count is again set text from F text. This time we got to do the long one. So F string and then F string from int. And then we pass the in item count in. So that should uh, set up a brand new item with a name and a count. So over here, what we do is we do new list item, add new item to inventory list, and we need to pass in the item data count for there. But let's see, item has an item name. There's the item name. Okay. This actually needs to be to string. So now we're passing in the name and the count to add an item to the inventory list. Let's go ahead at this point and compile and make these uh, widgets in the editor. Okay, here we are. I am in my widgets folder. You can't see that, but if I go boop, I'm gone. You see I have a widgets folder and I'm back. So we go to user interface. No, we don't. We go to blueprint class and we're going to search for hopper HUD. We're going to make that WBP hopper HUD. And we're going to make our hopper list item wbp hopper list item okay here's our hopper hud we need a canvas panel and we need to add in as you see here these are what we bound right we had bind widgets so coin count in inventory list so we're going to just toss a text up here and we're going to call that coin count and I'm gonna just set that to zero and size to content and blow that guy up to like, I don't know, uh, 128. So there's our coin count, a big old number in the corner. Next, we need that scroll box. That's just gonna go right over here. I'm not really making this pretty. And this is gonna be anchored to the right and it needs to be called inventory list. Boom, all right, done, that's our HUD. And the list item wants an item name and an item count. This is just gonna go inside the inventory box, so all we need is like a size box, a horizontal box inside of that size box, and then text, two texts, and a spacer between the texts. All right, the first one is our item name that we set up, and the second one is our item count that we set up. Now it's happy. If I go to desired on screen, we can actually see what it'll look like. Spacer, I'm gonna set to 100. This text block centered vertically. And to the left, this is centered vertically and aligned right horizontally, all right. Uh, and then we'll give these, here's name, and count. All right, that is set up as well. Now we need to go to our core and our player controller, and we actually need to make it, so we're gonna create widget. We need to have our HUD at the beginning, so hopper HUD. We need to pass in our player controller, and we'll do owning player as well. And then I like to keep that as a variable just in case we want it there and then pass to the viewport and then I always forget this we need to make sure we go to our variables under hopper hood hopper list item class let me get rid of my face and down here we need to set the hopper list item class 
to that blueprint. Otherwise, it will not know what widget class it needs to create. So now, if we go ahead and play, there we go. You see four up in the corner, and then on the right side there, coin one, two, three, four. It's counting upwards, but we don't want that. We want it to continue to update the item that we already have in the inventory, right? So what we need to do is check if our inventory list has children, has anything already added. So that's when we add a new item. First, we need to check if inventory list has any children. And if so, we need to make a T array of U widget pointers. Uh, this is going to be called our widget, just widgets. And we'll do inventory list get all children. So now we have all the children in there. So for uh, U widget pointer widget in widgets, we're going to, um, we need to cast to a U hopper list item pointer and we'll call this the list item is equal to cast to u hopper list item the widget and if that list item i'm getting ahead of myself there all right hopefully you followed we are checking do we have all the do we have any children we're going to make an array of widgets out of all those children it passes out u widget pointers and we're gonna go through every single one of those widgets inside of that array. And we have to cast to our specific hopper list item uh, type of widget from that widget. And then we check to make sure that that cast was valid and we have this and it's not a null pointer. And if so, what we need to do is check if list item dot get name, which we can't do yet, so we need some getters, right? So this is going to return an F text and we're going to call it get item name and it's a const and it just returns item name get text and we're going to want the count as well so get item count const return item count get text so there we have some getters okay so we want to get item name and we want to do that to is uh, there is equal to case ignored because I don't care about cases. And we're going to be checking uh, item item name, and that's an F text already, so we don't need to convert it. So do we have this item name? Does it exist? Is it the same one? If so, we need to update the item count. So that's another one we need. We need a set item count. So void set item count. And this is going to be a little bit more in depth. So here we're going to get, actually it needs to have a parameter. So a const int um, new count. Const int new count. And with this, what we're doing is item count, set text, f text from string, f string from int new count. All right? And I think this can be const. This guy can also be const. All right, everything's happy. We're going to item or uh, list item. We're going to set the item count to the item data, to the item count. Low memory, why are you low, why are you running out? That's all we do. And then we break, because we don't want to go through any more. We found the item that we wanted to update, we break out of that, right? And we need to have an else here, because that's our else. If we didn't find anything, then we're making a new item for the inventory list. Right? Okay. All right, so if we go ahead and play, and we come in, we collect our coins, there you go. We've got a coin counter in the upper left, and we are updating our inventory on the right with the coin count without 
adding new inventory stuff, we're updating the existing one. So there you go. Way better, uh, performative, not expensive method of updating a user interface for the inventory code that we made last time. So big hour long lecture. Am I doing lectures of how to code all of this? Um, that's required for this video in case you didn't know. Um, I'll figure out something else to do. Until then, uh, I have a Discord. 